Hey everyone, geophysicist Stefan Burns here. 2025 has nearly come to an end and there has been some absolutely incredible geologic events that have occurred this year. Some massive earthquakes, big volcanic eruptions, huge cyclones on our planet. So in today's video, we're going to look at these incredible geologic events, the top five based off of my ranking, going from number five to number one, and I can guarantee that some of these will have your mind blown. So with that, let's jump right into it with number five. And coming in at number five was the collapse of the Birch Glacier in the mountains of Switzerland on May 28th of 2025. And this was a cataclysmic landslide which completely destroyed the Swiss village of Blatten. There were warning signs ahead of time that this was occurring, massive fractures appearing in the rocks way up there in the mountains and then on the 28th it all collapsed you see just how much uh, mass was moved into this valley here and effectively the entire village was destroyed and then after that landslide came in you see that this stream there started to dam up and form a lake so this was a cataclysmic landslide for the residents of Blatten. Thankfully, everyone was evacuated beforehand. The Swiss take this very seriously. So we saw the warning signs and we took the steps needed to get everyone out safely, but all the homes were destroyed and Blatten was flattened. And coming in at number four is the 38th eruptive episode at Kilauea Volcano on the big island of Hawaii, connected to one of the world's largest hotspot and mantle plume systems. Now, Kilauea Volcano has been erupting episodically since December 23rd of 2024. This was the 38th eruption. You can see just how magnificent it is. This is nearly half a mile across and about 1,000 feet tall. And what was so special about this is that it actually knocked out their webcam that they have placed. So they have this webcam, they have three webcams that track Kilauea Volcano. This one was about 2,000, 2,200 feet away. And as this fire bow went out, it was actually aimed directly at that webcam. And you can see what it looks like to be incinerated by a volcano as a result of this. Here you see tephra, ash, pumice, everything basically launching out towards this webcam and it did not make it. There you see what it looks like to be engulfed by a volcano. So some incredible footage from the big island of Hawaii as a result of the hard work of USGS. And there it goes. That's not uh, something that you'd want to be on the receiving end of. It started off with this tri-plume of activity and then that increased over time and what's really interesting about this eruptive episode number 38 is that back with episode 37 right after it finished discharging there was a magnitude 4 plus earthquake that occurred in volcanoes national park just nearby clearly connected to the system that seemed to have opened up and fractured the magma conduit that's leading to this there's massive lava tubes in and around the big island of hawaii you can find them everywhere due to all the volcanoes there and then we saw the biggest eruptive episode yet with number 38 and these sort of episodic eruptions aren't that common the last time we had activity like this was nearly 40 years ago they're fairly regular in frequency. So if you are someone that wants to see a gigantic volcanic eruption, they are only getting bigger right now. We don't know when this episodic activity will end, but they are fairly regular. So you could book a trip to Hawaii, support the local economy and see an incredible display of nature. But don't worry, the viewing areas that they have around along the uh, rim of the crater, those are protected. You're not going to be in danger if you go there unless something absolutely crazy happens. I can't guarantee anything. Uh, but over the past 38 episodes now, in the past year, the floor of the caldera has risen about 220 feet. So a massive amount of magma has been discharged and looks like it will continue to do so.
And coming in at number three was the monster category five Hurricane Melissa, which shocked the world back in October with its destructive landfall over the island of Jamaica. This is one of the biggest hurricanes that's ever been observed on record. Its central pressure dropped all the way down to 892 millibars, so it's tied for third place with the hurricane of 1935, the Labor Day hurricane, and the top hurricane ever observed in terms of its lowest pressure was Hurricane Wilma in 2005 with a pressure drop going down to 882 millibars. So this was an incredible hurricane, uh, as we can see, and we can see its landfall over Jamaica here with this satellite imagery. Also, just see the size of this hurricane. A massive amount of lightning strikes within this eye wall there. Wind speeds up to 290 kilometers per hour at their greatest. And it was originally a category five off the coast. Thankfully, it did land at category four, but it maintained its destructive potential even across its transit of the island. And then it slammed into Cuba and other Caribbean nations. So this was an absolutely crazy hurricane. And that is further compounded by these mesovortices, which we saw within the eye wall of Hurricane Melissa, something that was hypothesized, theorized, but never actually observed. And well, we finally made these observations that you can have these sub vortex structures within larger hurricanes if they get big enough. So Earth is a very active storm world if she chooses to be. And that is what we saw late October of 2025. And coming in at number two is an event that occurred less than a month after Hurricane Melissa. This was the historic eruption of Haley Gubi Volcano in Ethiopia from the Afar region on November 23rd. This is the first time this volcano has erupted in recent history, geologically. So this is 10,000, 12,000 years. We really don't know the last time it erupted and well, it put on a show. Check out this ash cloud. It was insane. It actually reached all the way over to Asia. So we see it originally spreading out over the Middle East here, going from Ethiopia into like Saudi Arabia, for example. But then it traveled through Southeast Asia and reached all the way to like China and Japan. So this was a massive volcanic eruption. Here we see that ash plume originally coming up. And this is all connected to the African super plume. So there is a massive upwelling of energy from the mantle and the African super plume is one of the biggest mantle hotspot plume systems on the planet, helping create that East African rift valley, which we see very nicely cutting down through here. The continent is actually rifting apart. And well, this eruption is showing that there is new signs of activity in the East African Rift Valley. The far region is quite active in general. There are some notable volcanoes there. One of them is a permanent lake of lava that exists, but these sort of eruptions aren't that common in the grand scheme, especially for this volcano. First time it's erupted in 10,000 plus years and that affected flight traffic around the world. And well, we may be seeing more activity from that region Perhaps this is just the first of many volcanic eruptions to come. And coming in at number one, the most incredible geologic event of this year, 2025, in fact, is a double feature, starting with the magnitude 7.7 earthquake that struck Burma, Thailand on the 28th of March. Look at this. You will see the fault move and the two plates slide past each other in this video, which is the first time that we have ever observed that on camera. Of course, we have tons of observational evidence of this, streams that are repositioned, fences that were repositioned after big earthquakes, but to see it in real time happen in about the span of two seconds is unbelievable. Anytime I watch this, it just blows my mind. Look at that. This is over 500 kilometers of fault line that rupture. We see that with our USGS map here, and this struck in the country of Burma, also known as Myanmar, uh, going down to Thailand. There was a lot of shaking and some destruction of even buildings that occurred from this earthquake. 
on March 28th. So a gigantic earthquake, but there was in fact a bigger earthquake that occurred this year. One of the largest ever observed a magnitude 8.8 .8 mega quake that struck off the coast of Kamchatka Peninsula, Russia. So we see the epicenter of that right here next, next to the city of Petropavlovsk. And this is also about a 500 kilometer rupture there but about 45 times more energy was released from this magnitude 8.8 .8 than the magnitude 7.7. .7. So you can imagine how much that fault in the plates moved as a result of that giant earthquake. There aren't that many earthquakes that have been observed bigger than this using modern seismological gear like seismometers and more. So the earth does these sort of big earthquakes, these mega quakes, uh, fairly frequently, magnitude 8 earthquake typically occurs once every year. Um, but once you start to get to 8.5, 8.8 magnitude 9 range, they are quite infrequent, only happening at like a decadal frequency typically. And well, this was the first mega quake that we had had since 2021 and the first uh, big, big, big earthquake since 2011, great Tohoku magnitude 9.1 earthquake. But this video of the fault rupture takes the prize for the most incredible thing that I have seen geologically occurring this year. First time we've ever had direct visual observation of the plates grinding past each other and just seeing how instantaneous that can be. And in fact, it actually occurred fairly early on in this earthquake. So you see that there's a little bit of shaking beforehand, but then it's the surface waves that come through afterwards that maintain that shaking. It occurs pretty quickly on in this whole sequence. And a bonus incredible geologic event that occurred this year was the huge seismic swarm that hit Santorini Island in the Aegean Sea, Greece from late January through the middle of February, triggering one of the biggest seismic swarms this year consisting of thousands and thousands of events. The island of Santorini and the nearby area was effectively shaking nonstop for over two weeks. We see just how many earthquakes occurred here. Here we see the depth plot as well. A massive seismic swarm. Some of these earthquakes even reaching up to magnitude five and greater. The cumulative magnitude for this was about a magnitude 6.5 earthquake. And Santorini Island, in fact, is a big volcano. The reason why it has this caldera there is because of the huge eruption that it experienced roughly 1600 BC. So that's 3,600 years ago or so. The entire island blew up in spectacular fashion. And at the time of this, a lot of scientists were saying this was a tectonic only event but now we know that in fact, this was due to a large intrusion of magma from depth. So we have this mid crustal magma storage system here. Here we see Santorini volcano. There's Columba volcano. That's an undersea volcano just nearby. They both have shallow magma reservoirs. And what we saw is that we had a big intrusion of magma coming up to this mid crustal magma storage system. There are some shallow faults above it. They got reactivated by all this activity. Also a ton of earthquakes in and around that area, which helped us to image these subsurface features. And while this swarm has come to an end, it hasn't been active now for many months, this isn't necessarily a good sign going forward as it relates to this entire volcanic system, because this was a fresh injection of energy and all those earthquakes create fractures and overall allow more movement of magma and fluids from depth if that is to occur. The whole area has been opened up effectively. So as of right now, everything has cooled off and is fine, but we cannot ignore that this is a big volcanic system that exists in the Aegean Sea, responsible for some of the biggest volcanic eruptions in the historic record. And while there's no indication that we can precisely forecast when that's going to occur in the future. This system is still very alive and active, and we got just a small glimpse of that back in January and February of this year. 
So those are the top five most incredible geologic events that occurred this year in 2025. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been your host, Stefan Burns. And before we go, I'd like to let you know that we have new merchandise available on my web store. This is earthevolution.com store. And this hoodie in particular is perfect for what we've just been talking about. It highlights all the incredible things that can occur on our planet and in our space environment. So this is the Boom Shakalaka hoodie coming in black, going from small to 3XL. And you can see the artwork of it right here. So we have our Boom Shakalaka dog, volcanic eruptions, solar explosions, meteors, comets, UFOs, and more. This is super, super comfortable, 100% cotton, really high quality. Uh, environmentally friendly, all the things that's really important to me. And you can pick this up at earthevolution.com uh, and that will ship out to you fairly quickly. They are printed to order. So you can pick that up and you can use the code till the end of 2025 for 5% off. Thanks, Stefan. So it's T H A N K S S T E F A N. All the info and the links are in the video description. Thank you all so much. Wishing each and every single one of you well. Smash that thumbs up button to help the channel grow. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll be back with another video very soon.